What's up, YouTube? Maniac the Geek here. So I just got done at my local comic book shop with uh, Free Comic Book Day. So those of you that don't know, today is Free Comic Book Day. It's always the first uh, Saturday in May. And um, your local comic shop, if they're participating, they have to participate in it. You can't just go there expecting them to have free comics. And not every comic is free. It's specially uh, marked comics that are free. So I'm going to show you guys the ones that I got for for free. All right, so starting off, I got Rick and Morty. That's for my girl. I'm not a huge Rick and Morty fan. I do watch it with her occasionally, and it is kind of funny, but I'm not really that into it. So I got that for her. I also got her Monster High. She's really into the Monster High. She's got a few of the dolls, and she likes that. I got the uh, Simpsons bongo I'm not sure why it just doesn't say Simpsons on it but uh, yeah I got that one for her too and then also I got her grim fairy tales free comic book day now when you go to free comic book day um, all the comics are gonna say that on top free comic book day you can't just go in and you know be pulling comics out of bins that are $15 or $10 or $2 and be thinking that um, those are free it's not every comic it's just special comics and you have to remember the thing about Free Comic Book Day, the retailers, the comic shops, they pay for these comics. These comics are not free for them. They pay like 10 cents, 25 cents, whatever it is, depending on what kind of comic it is. They pay for these. So it costs them a little bit of money. So at my shop that I went to, you can get 10 free books. And then if you buy anything, you can get 10 more free books. So just go out there, get some books. You know, they have kid books for kids. This is the reason that Free Comic Book Day started was they wanted... Uh, you know, new young readers reading and, you know, getting into comics and stuff. So they thought, you know, let's give them free books that don't really mean anything. And then they can start reading and if they like it, then they can start picking up regular issues. So um, I got that one. And then for me, I got Sword Quest number zero. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I have the regular issue of this, uh, not the free comic book day issue. I have the regular one. But uh, I want to check that one out. 2000 AD with Judge Dredd. There he is right there. Dragon Ball Super, which is actually backwards, like a Mog Note would be. And then last but not least, I got Secret Empire. So I've been reading the Secret Empire. Um, I haven't been that up to date with the Captain America um, Steve Rogers comic, but, uh, I've been reading the secret empire. It's been okay. You know, I don't really, I don't really want to ruin it for you, but, uh, it's been okay. So, um, those are the free comics that I got at free comic book day. And then I decided to, uh, buy some issues of some comics that I needed. So I bought some issues of some comics that weren't free just so I could support my uh, local comic shop. So I got uh, the Dark Knight 3 Master Race. This is book six. I got uh, book seven of that. And then I got uh, book eight. So I believe this is a nine issue like mini series and they're up to book eight right now. Um, I really, really dig this, this um, this miniseries by Frank Miller. Uh, a lot of people were giving him shit, you know, him coming back to the Dark Knight when he did so badly with uh, the Dark Knight Returns 2. It wasn't as well received as the original Dark Knight, but um, I'm really digging it and I like it a lot. So also I got um, Darth Maul number one. Um, I haven't been that up to date with my Star Wars comics, but um, I saw this and I decided to give it, and this is a first, um, this is a first print. So this is Darth Maul number one first print. And then I got, um, I went last night and I saw Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. It, I um, was, I would have gone with my girl, but she was, she's on vacation with her mom right now in Palm Springs. So um, I went by myself, but uh, luckily I had a gift card, so I didn't have to, you know, spend any money, but I'm definitely going to go with her again. And um, I loved the movie, absolutely fell in love with it. It's another Marvel classic movie. Personally, to me, it's not as good as the first one. Um, I like the first one a lot better. Um, the humor in this one is a little bit, uh, more than the first one, 
Uh, Drax is definitely the comic relief, and he's definitely the most funny out of all of them. Rocket and Baby Groot and everybody, just everybody in this movie is great. There's just, I don't want to spoil it for you. I'm not going to have any spoilers on here. There's just a, a point in the movie where something takes a turn and it kind of turns on its head at 180, and I just didn't really dig that. Um, as, a, as a whole movie, the movie was great. I would say if the first movie is a 9 or a 9.5, this is an 8.5 or a 9. I mean, it's that, like, it's this is the first movie and this is the second movie. That's how close they are. There's no real difference. I just didn't really like this this twist they had in the movie. But um, I dug it a lot. Um, I'm definitely going to go see it again with her. And um, I just can't wait to see them in Infinity War and then the next Guardians. And hopefully they're in the fourth Avengers. You know, everything like that. It just, I like, I, I just want all of that cohesiveness to come together and just be like a, a team of a hundred Marvel characters that we've come to love. So anyway, so, um, after seeing guardians of the, you know, guardians volume two, there are, I'm not going to spoil who, but there are some characters that are from the original guardians of the galaxy team. So if you don't know the team of star Lord and Gamora and Drax and Groot and rocket, that is like the second iteration of the guardians this, um, they actually had another iteration of the Guardians that started, that started the Guardians of the Galaxy name and the team, and that was actually in the 90s. I believe it might have started in the late 80s, but it, most of it was in the early 90s, 90, 91, 92. So I looked in here, uh, the back issue bins, and I found, um, some of these. So I got, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. This is issue 13, and it says on here, First Appearance of Vengeance. So that's kind of why I got it. So Vengeance, I believe, is like the Ghost Rider of the future, or he's like the space Ghost Rider or something. He's not like the, you know, Ghost Rider that we all know on Earth and stuff like that. But um, I got that one. And then um, I got this one, which is number 22, Guardians of the Galaxy number 22. And um, I'm not going to spoil the movie, but based off of the cover of this book, is the reason I got it because of what goes on in the movie. So I'm not going to spoil who plays him or anything like that, but I got that because of the character that's on the cover right there. And then this one I saw, and I've seen some uh, pictures of this on some of my uh, comic groups that I'm on on Facebook, but I got uh, issue 39 and this is the issue with Wolverine in it. And I know you can't tell cause it's a video, but he's actually got a shiny reflective, material for his skeleton but it's actually like raised and embossed I guess is the word so you can actually feel it it's like bumpy and she, she her hair and her everything so I just got this issue and I saw it and it was only three bucks and they were doing 10% off so also remember that too your your shops that are doing free comic book day today might be doing discounts like my shop if you bought $50 worth of stuff you got a free um uh what's his name Oh God, why am I blanking? He's in the Netflix series, Iron Fist. Sorry. You got a free Iron Fist pop. They had a whole stack of Iron Fist pops. It's the one in the white, the white costume, the white and gold. Um, if you bought $50 worth of stuff, which for comic book collectors and people that collect comics, $50 isn't that much. I spent 34 on all these books, even with the 10% off. So I was like 16 bucks away. I didn't really want to spend 50 bucks, but I mean, so yeah, so that was the last book that I got. So anyway, the reason that I'm doing this video is um, after I left the comic book shop, I decided, you know, it's pretty early. It's only 1045 in the morning. Um, I'm going to go and I'm going to check out some of my local shops around here that probably have just opened up and see if um, they have any stuff. So I went to my local Walgreens and um, surprise, surprise, this Walgreens that I've been going to for the past, I don't know, half dozen times, eight times hasn't really restocked anything. They might've had one or two things or something, but today I went and surprised they did have some new stuff, but it wasn't the newer, newer stuff. It was a little bit older stuff, but it's stuff that I still wanted and still needed. So I got the Spider-Man 2099 from the Sandman wave. So, um, yeah, they had the almost complete Sandman wave. Uh, the only character they didn't have there from the Sandman wave was the Green Goblin. So if they would have had him, I would have got him too. But I got Spider-Man Spider 2099. And then this one I got 
was I've been seeing this one on posts on Facebook and everything like that and um, I don't have any of her comics and I haven't read any of her comics but after seeing her on the Spider-Man um, animated series on Disney XD and seeing these pictures I really want to start getting into this character because I like her a lot and I think she's really cool I got the uh, the new Miss Marvel the Kamala Khan Miss Marvel from the Sandman wave I just really like her costume I really like you know she's just a cool cool cool, cool girl sorry and uh, I like I like this this action figure and I like this uh, this character so so yeah so um, I didn't take any footage in there unfortunately I just it was kind of a spur of the moment thing but um, I'm actually going to go to GameStop right now and pray and hope that they have any of the new um, 40th anniversary R5D4s I just watched A New Hope last night on TNT I think it was um, I'm home alone for the weekend so um, I watched um, Star Wars Episode 4 and then they had Episode 3 on after it. So they had 4 and then 3. Um, so I watched all of Episode 4 and then I fell asleep watching Episode 3. Um, but um, watching Episode 4, that scene where Owen and Luke and C-3PO and everybody are getting sold to them in the very beginning on Tatooine and then R5 has the bad motivator. I just, I don't know, I really like the character now. I know he's in the movie for a minute split second. But uh, the fact that they made a 40th anniversary figure out of him and the fact that it's only from GameStop, I just really want him now. So I'm going to go there right now and um, hopefully they uh, have some where they can get one for me. And uh, maybe they have some exclusive pops or something, you know, maybe a chase. But uh, yeah, there's probably no no luck of that happening. But uh, yeah, so right now I have all the comics I got from Free Comic Book Day and then these two from the Sandman Wave. And uh, hopefully I can find some more stuff. I haven't done a hunt video in a in a quick minute, so I decided I would do one for you guys so I can show you guys what I got. But um, yeah, definitely, if you guys are near a comic book shop or you have kids or grown-ups or anybody that are into comics, go to your local comic book shop and participate in Free Comic Book Day. It is a really, really cool thing. I remember going the very first year they had Free Comic Book Day. And it was a big, big deal back then. It's kind of tapered off. It's not become the biggest deal anymore. But um, it's really, really cool. Especially if you've got young kids. You know, all young kids are into superheroes. We get it. They're all into superheroes. And I get parents can't be got buying them. You know, issues of superhero comics. They're a little bit more mature now than they used to be. But they definitely, definitely have stuff for kids. They have Simpsons. They have um, all kinds of stuff across the board. My Little Pony, if you got girls... They have all kinds of stuff. DC um, Comics has this new one called um, uh, Superhero Girls, where it's like Batgirl and Harley Quinn, but they're more tamed down. They're more like, you know, like teenagers and all that kind of stuff, like Powerpuff Girls kind of, you know, area. So they have all that kind of stuff for them. And the best thing is about it, you know, depending on your shop, you'll get them for free. And then your kids could have something to do today and they could have fun and you can get them into comics and everything like that. So definitely go check out your local comic book shops. If you're near one, you know, make sure they're participating. Call up, make sure they're participating because they have to participate in it. They have to buy them. So if they're participating, take your kids down. It's Saturday. Take them down. You'll have some fun, all right? So right now I'm going to go to uh, GameStop, and I'm going to tell you guys if I, get, if I uh, found anything or if I got anything, all right? What's up, guys? So I'm all done at GameStop, and I did pick up some things. Um, first of all, before I show you guys what I got, I met a really cool guy in there named Ron. He didn't work there. He was just shopping like me. And we got to talking. We've been talking for like the past like half an hour. Um, he subscribed to my channel and everything like that right now. Um, he's just a fellow hunter like me. And he just was showing me his stuff. And I was just telling him, you know, what pops to get and what figures to get and everything like that. So just a shout out to you, Ron, if you're going to watch this video. It was good talking to you, man. Good meeting you. And uh, let me show you guys what I got in there. So, um... I wasn't really expecting much. Um, this GameStop in the past has kind of let me down. Um, the guy that was working there today was really, really, really freaking cool. Like, there's some guys that work there that, I, I mean, I don't want to say they're jerks, but, I mean, sometimes they just, you know, uh, they might be having a bad day or whatever, but, I'm, you know, that's the retail business. But this guy was really cool, so I got the Homecoming Spider-Man, the Funko Pop. So I got that one. I got the Tony Stark, Tony Stank, 
So uh, I like that one. The box does have a little bit of uh, some wear on it on the front, but I mean, you can hardly even tell. And it's a, it's a Tony Stark. It's not like super anything rare. And then the last one that I got that I saw, and I think they only had one of these, um, I decided to pick up. I got the, uh, the Vulture. So this isn't the exclusive. I asked them if they did have any of the exclusives because GameStop does have the exclusive. That is um, glow-in-the-dark eyes and mouth and everything like that. Um, they didn't have the exclusive, but I got that. But those weren't the only things that I got. And the guy was really cool too, like putting stuff in the bags. He's like, I'm not gonna, you know, mess up your boxes. I'm not gonna mess up any of your stuff. So um, they did have the 40th anniversary Farm Boy Luke. So um, I was, I would, like I said, I was watching episode four last night. I just really got nostalgic about Star Wars and I saw him and uh, he doesn't have the sticker on so I don't have to peel it off and worry about ruining it so that's why I got this one. The, you can see the cardboard is a little warped and a little bent but it's not that bad. Actually he does have a little bit of issue in the corner here but that's okay I'll take it. But as I was pulling this one out the guy at the front counter it was just me and that guy Ron in there for like 45 minutes and we were just hanging out talking. And then we were talking with the guy at the front counter. But uh, as I pulled that one out, he's like, do you want this one? And he pulled it out and I just freaking started doing jumping jacks and started jumping up and down. I was like, yes, I spent a little bit too much money, but I think it's worth it. I got the GameStop exclusive R5D4. So that scene with the farm boy, Luke, Uncle Owen, he's got a bad motivator. I just really like that. I just was like, wanting this this one so much like i just i just i don't i can't explain it i don't know what it is like he's only in the movie for a minute two minutes five minutes tops not even but the fact that they made a a, a toy out of him and the fact that they gave him the love and everything and then the, like look at that from the movie that's the way you do toys that's the way you do toys like i i love it and this one is in excellent condition nothing wrong with the box not at all so right now the only ones that i need left in this wave are obi-wan and r2 and then i need obviously everything in the second wave so that's going to be my next mission is to get the second wave i have the darth vader the legacy you know pack but um yeah i need um i need obi-wan and i need um r2 I believe I saw an Obi-Wan at one of the game stops or something that I was at, but I never picked him up. I picked up uh, Princess Leia, I think. So um, I don't think it's going to be too hard to find Obi-Wan. I think the R2 is going to be the hardest one for me to find. So like I said, the guy was really cool. He's like, let me put these in for you so I don't bend them and everything, and I'll put the pops in a separate, separate thing. So shout out to you, dude. I forgot what your name was. I'm sorry. Um, but he was a really cool guy. He definitely deserves Employee of the Week, Employee of the Month, whatever. But uh, yeah, shout out to you, Ron. It was good meeting you. Uh, keep watching my videos. If you have any uh, questions, just uh, send me a message on here. You can either leave a comment or send me a message. Send me a message on my Instagram, and I'll definitely try to answer you as fast as I can. But uh, yeah, it was really cool meeting him. And this is this is the thing. Like I'm, I keep saying, just if you like these toys and you want to collect, you never know who you're gonna find. Like talk to people if they're if they are holding the same toys as you or interested or they have a question. Just talk to them. If you know what you're doing and you, you know, I'm not a, a, a master of this by any stretch of the imagination. You know, I rely on other people's YouTubes and other people's input and other people's knowing when stuff is coming out to mainly get my stuff done. But I just, I just love being able to, to share the knowledge that I have in my head. And, uh, it was really cool meeting you, dude. And I hope you find all the pops you're looking for. He said he's a big pop, he, he's becoming a big pop collector now. So um, I hope he finds all the good pops and everything like that. So um, right now I'm going to go to uh, Walmart and uh, then I'm probably going to go home. I got to get ready for work. I got work later, but um, I'm going to go to Walmart and see if they've got anything good there in, you know, in way of pops or anything like that. I really want to get that Spider-Man and Vulture two pack. That's really what I'm on the hunt for at Walmart. And I've been seeing that a lot of um, Walmarts have been carrying them. So I'm on the hunt for that one. So I will keep you guys up to date. I'll definitely film some footage in there. So you guys can see what they got. So I will hit you guys up when I uh, when I get to Walmart. All right. So this is all they got. I got a bunch of the little Star Wars, but 
But it's missing. Build a piece. What's up guys so I did not get anything at Walmart um, yeah that Walmart is slowly and surely going downhill they don't have much to anything the only thing they had in there that I was even remotely interested in was the uh, Dorbs they had the Walmart exclusive Two-Face they had two of those but the boxes were in really rough shape and I just you know I'm not a big Dorbs collector I have one or two. I'm not really sure how many I have. But um, I want to start getting into them, but I want to start getting into more of the rare ones, like the chases and the exclusives and stuff like that. But, yeah, they, those are the only things they had. Um, their Star Wars section was completely tapped out. Their uh, Spider-Man section was completely tapped out. They didn't have any of the, um, uh, the Spider-Man Vulture 2-pack. They didn't have any homecoming stuff they didn't have anything they had one of those big like 12 inch homecoming spider-mans but i'm not interested in that and um their marvel legends was all it was was the dormammu wave um all the the um doctor strange the doctor strange box was beat to hell it was opened they had a vance astro from the guardians of the galaxy wave but he was missing the build a figure piece so somebody either stole it or bought it just for the build a figure piece and then returned it and I hate when they do that. That is the ultimate disrespect when it comes to toy collecting. Like, you know, put out the money, buy the toy. Um, if you don't want it anymore, return the entire toy. Don't return it with a different toy in there or don't return it with the Build-A-Figure piece missing or one of the accessories missing or something like that. That's just the ultimate disrespect. So yeah, right now, um, I thought I was gonna go home right now, but it's only noon. Um, so I'm actually going to hit up uh, Target really quick, and um, that's probably going to be my last stop for the day. I might go to a couple more places, I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to hit up Target real quick, and then I'm going to go um, go home. Um, Star Wars is still on TV, so I'm probably just going to be watching that for the rest of the day until i got to get ready for work. But um, yeah, I'm really, really excited with the haul that I got. I just, I, I mean... I thought I was going to go out today and just get free comic books and get a couple of books and all that kind of stuff, and then I decided, you know what, I might as well go out. It's Saturday. I usually like going out on Saturdays. Most of the stores that I go to around here, they get restocks or they get replenished or whatever on Saturdays, so I decided, let me check. Let me see if they, any of the stores got some stuff, and to my surprise, Walgreens had the uh, Sandman wave, and I think right now of all the Marvel Legends, the Sandman wave is probably top five and with people who want them and people who you know just like the wave as a, as a whole so i only have a couple more figures to complete that wave i'm really excited about that um i got those homecoming pops i'm really excited about that i'm really looking forward to that movie spider-man's my favorite superhero of all time so i'm going to be there opening day obviously and um uh, and i got those star wars um 40th anniversary figures Star Wars is my favorite movies of all time. It's my favorite thing of all time. There's nothing I know more about than Star Wars. So um, those 40th anniversary figures are just really high on my priority list right now. And I just really love the the presentation and the, and the attention to detail. And the fact that they're doing new molds and new sculpts on certain figures and everything like that. The Darth Vader looks amazing. Um, I do like the Farm Boy Luke. I'm not a huge cloth goods guy you know it works on some characters i think rubber is the way to go when it comes to you know cloth and all that kind of stuff but um 
it it looks fine on him. They, they I don't know if they you know had a different approach to it or they did it differently or anything like that, but it looks great. And uh, I got that R5. That was my number one right there. Besides R, besides R2, R2 is going to be hard to find. And I did find an R2. When that 40th anniversary wave started hitting, I found an R2 like first day. It was sitting by itself in Target, but the thing was beat to hell. I mean, I, somebody must have been playing soccer with it or something. I have no idea because it was beat to hell. The, the, the packaging was beat. The, the, some of it was ripped off. It looked like there might have been pieces missing. I'm not sure, but... That R2 is becoming a unicorn, and it's becoming harder and harder to find, and I'm just really looking forward to finding it. So all I need right now is the Obi-Wan and the R2 to finish that wave. And then hopefully, 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 some GameStops or some uh, uh, Walgreens or Toys R Us's or something will be stocking them pretty soon. Um, I think I might go to Toys R Us tomorrow. Um, I work uh, later in the afternoon again tomorrow. So, um, tomorrow morning when I get up, I, I think they open at 10. I'm not sure. Um, I might go to Toys R Us tomorrow just to see if they've got, been getting them. Um, since the 40th anniversary wave has been hitting, I've been to two separate Toys R Us's and I haven't seen any of them there. Um, so I don't know if they have a special release date that's only for Toys R Us. I'm not sure, but hopefully they have some. Um, Toys R Us has kind of been a little um, gold mine for me when it comes to finding the last figure in a series or the rare figure in a series. It seems like they stock more of the rare figures than the other stores do. I think that's just because of the amount of volume they have versus a Target or a Walgreens. You know, they're able to get more R2s or they're able to get more, you know, Obi-Wans or, you know, Han Solos or whatever the case may be they're able to get more so I think I'm going to hit them up tomorrow I don't really want to go it's like 15 minutes away from me the closest Toys R Us and I don't really want to go all the way out there just to get you know shafted if they don't have anything so I think right now I'm just going to finish up at Target I'll definitely take some footage in there for you guys so you can see if they have anything and um if this is my last stop um I'll definitely uh try to be putting up this video um, oh, sorry. I'll definitely try to put up this video tonight. Um, if I go to Toys R Us tomorrow, I might wait and put the Toys R Us footage in there. Um, I always hate it when I put a video up and then I get more footage and then I got to keep that footage for another like week or so. Just feel it just feels kind of weird. So um, I might wait and put this footage up tomorrow afternoon before I go to work. If I decide to go to Toys R Us, I really want to see if they have anything. One of the things that I'm really into that I've been collecting a lot that Toys R Us seems to have in abundance is NECA figures and especially the Predator and Aliens figures. You know, Aliens and then the Predator, Alien vs. Predator or Predator 2, whatever the case may be. So I definitely want to check some of those out and see if they got any of those. But right now, I'm pulling up to Target. So I'm going to head in and uh, see if they got anything good for me. Um, hopefully this Target doesn't let me down. We find a spot here and uh, I can find some good stuff. So um, I'll take some footage in there for you guys and um, I will be back with you to tell you what I got. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay. All right, so it looks like they have some new Wonder Woman. We got Wonder Woman, her in a costume, Steve Trevor. Looks like they got those. They got some Guardians wave. They got almost the whole wave here. Got some homecoming figs. This isn't the Vulture 2 pack I was talking about. Close though. And I got a Villager, Blue Yoshi, and Slippy Toad for World's Nintendo. Let's see what they got over here. Some wrestling figures. This one's really cool. Ultimate Warrior and Papa Shango. Got a 
that's really cool. Uh, we got uh, Iron Man we already got. Astro, another Iron Man, another Iron Man, a Star Lord, a couple of Draxes. A couple of Cassians. Got a Yoda Pop. Not much. They have some of the Voltron Bilbo items. Those are cool. Only $17.99. They got the red, the yellow, the green, the green, blue, and yellow. So I think that's all five, and they have the black here. So they have all of them to build the load, the Voltron. I'm gonna go check their pops out real quick. All right, I am all done at Target. Um, I did not purchase anything. Um, pretty much everything I already had that they had. The only things um, that I was interested in um, were those uh, Voltron Lions. I have been watching that show on Netflix, and I am absolutely loving it. It is one of the best shows on TV right now. I mean, I know it's not on TV. I know it's on Netflix, but I've been watching that show, and um, those are only $17.99. I think the Black Lion's like 20 something but they're only $17.99, and uh, this Target, my local Target, had them all. They had the green, the blue, the red, and the yellow, and then the Black Lion, obviously, is the big one, but um, they had them all, so if you guys are interested in getting that um, Voltron Lion... Or Voltron to you know the, the individual lines to combine into your own uh, giant Voltron toy they have them all and uh, they're actually reasonably priced you know you're gonna be spending you know probably a hundred hundred twenty bucks to get them all and combine them but for big toys like that that's not a bad that's not a bad deal so you may want to wait you know a couple paychecks or whatever get a couple and then get the rest of them later but um yeah, I, um, I'm done today, guys. I, I spent enough money, and I'm happy enough. I'm glad with the stuff I got. I got a little bit of everything when it came to the comics and when it came to the um, the toys and stuff. So I am really, really happy. I'm going to go home, and I am going to uh, watch Star Wars, and I'm going to uh, look at the stuff that I got and... Um, probably take some pictures of it and upload it to my uh, Instagram for you guys. And, um, yeah, I'm probably going to go to Toys R Us tomorrow. So this isn't going to be the last video. This isn't going to be the last uh, part of the video. I'm probably going to wait till tomorrow. I'm probably going to go to Toys R Us. I may go to the mall because there's the mall that's right across the street. That's the good thing with the Toys R Us that's by me. It's right across the street from the mall. So you don't really feel that cheated because you get to go to somewhere else and Wow, this woman doesn't know how to drive. Sorry. Um, you get to go to a couple more places, and then you can find some more stuff, you know, if Toys R Us doesn't have anything. So, um... Okay, lady. There you go. That's how you drive. So, I'm probably going to go there. They have a Hot Topic there. Um, I think they have a game, another GameStop in the, uh, the mall, so I'll definitely think about hitting that up and then they do have a, a comic book shop in the um the mall there so um i'll probably go there and um, i'll probably see if he's got anything back issue wise he seems like uh the comic book shop that's by me 
Um, they don't have a lot of back issues. Um, that's the only letdown of the comic book shop that's by me is um, I would say the vast majority, a good 80 to 85 percent of the stuff that he carries comic wise is all new stuff. You know, he doesn't really have anything, you know, past a year, two years old. You know, he's got some stuff, but it's not even close to what it is the majority of his stuff that he sells. So, um, but if you're in new stuff, you know, and I'm picking up new books every week, I always go in there and I get like, you know, a half dozen, seven new books every week. So I'm definitely picking up stuff and I have stuff to read. I'm reading the American Gods uh, book by Dark Horse right now. That, that's really good. That that show is insane. And the book is just like the show. But, um, yeah, so um, I'll probably go there tomorrow. So I'll, sh I'll have some more footage for you guys. But, uh, once again, a big shout out to that guy that I met in GameStop. His name was Ron, I believe. Um, he subscribed to my channel while we were in there. Because he was asking me questions. And I told him that I do a YouTube channel and Instagram and stuff. So, big shout out to you, man. Uh, good luck with your pop hunting. Good luck with your, with your collecting. He says he's a collector of Legos. And he's a collector of Hot Wheels. So he, he, he knows about black holes. If there's anyone that knows about black holes when it comes to toy collecting, it's Lego collectors and especially Hot Wheels collectors. I don't think that there's a, co a, a type of thing you can collect toy-wise that's a bigger black hole than Hot Wheels. You know, you think you got them all, and then all of a sudden they're releasing new things. I mean, I wouldn't even begin to imagine how hard it is to start collecting Hot Wheels. But uh, big shout out to him. I love meeting grown-up adult collectors like me you know this isn't some little kid that's doing it in his spare time or whatever these are grown-up collectors like like me who like these things they collect them because they're nostalgic and then they create their characters that they liked when they were kids so that's why i collect this stuff so big shout out to you man um send me a comment or or uh send me a, a message or whatever with your um with your youtube channel and i'll i'll subscribe back to you and then if you have any questions, just just hit me up and I'll let you know. He lives, says he lives in the same area as me. So um, hopefully we can, you know, we can hit each other up and, you know, bounce our ideas off each other about our uh, our collections and, you know, how we go about collecting and stuff like that. And then maybe we can even go on toy hunts or something like that. Who knows? So, um, yeah, that's the coolest part about this, about this hobby is you meet people all the time. He was telling me how he met somebody in a Walmart or a Target, I think it was. That was another YouTube collector, does YouTube videos. So you never know who you're going to meet, you know? And you never know what kind of advice you're going to get from them or what kind of, um, you know, um, you know, stuff you're going to get from them about where, where to go to collect stuff. He was showing me pictures. He got the Walgreens exclusive Mace Windu, which I didn't even know, you know, I knew it was out, but I didn't know any of the places around here had it, but he supposedly found it. So props to you, man. One of the one of the coolest pops they got going right now. One of the greatest characters in Star Wars. One of my favorite. He's got um, the Mace Windu. He was talking about other stuff that he's got. So um, yeah, props to you on that, man. That's a, that's a great find in the wild. So uh, I'm home right now. I'm gonna go uh, in the house and I'm gonna go watch some Star Wars. Probably make some lunch and then um, I'm going to probably take some photos of all the stuff that I got. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Later. What's up, guys? It is Maniac the Geek again, and it is Sunday, and I told you I'd be back. So I am right now driving to Toys R Us, my local Toys R Us, and um, it is actually 10.01 in the morning, so I believe they just opened up. I think they opened up at 10 o'clock in the morning, so I wanted to get an early start today. I didn't want to be waiting around so I'm gonna go to Toys R Us and then after that there's a mall right across the street you guys have probably heard me say in my other videos uh, the mall that I go to they have a Hot Topic they have a GameStop they have a little comic book shop in there so I'm gonna hit that place those places up and see if they've got any of the um, the homecoming uh, spider-man homecoming the new wave of uh, pops and stuff like that I got a few yesterday um, I got the uh, Spider-Man in the full Spider-Man costume, I got the Tony Stark, and I got the uh, Vulture, but I didn't get the GameStop exclusive Vulture. So I'm uh, I'm on the hunt for that game that GameStop exclusive Vulture, the one that has the glow-in-the-dark parts on it. That thing looks the tits, so I really want to get that one. So right now I'm going to go to Toys R Us, I'm going to see if they have any 
um, of the new Marvel Legends. Maybe they have the new second wave of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, maybe they have some new uh, uh, Star Wars Black series. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to hit up the mall after. And then I might, after I'm done with the mall, go to uh, a Best Buy and, a, and a Walgreens just to end my little hunt for today. I'm not I'm not trying to get anything crazy. I'm not trying to go crazy. I'm just trying to find a few things. So if I do, I will definitely let you guys know. I'm actually pulling in the Toys R Us parking lot right now. And it looks like there are a few people following me in or going in before me. So they're probably doing the same thing I am. Just waiting until the store opens so they can go in and get some some goodies. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to back into this spot right now. Alrighty. All right, so I'm going to go in Toys R Us. I'll show you guys some footage from inside there and see what they got. And then I'll be right with you guys when I'm done and show you, show you guys if I got anything, all right? Later. All right, so it looks like they moved some of the Star Wars stuff. So they do have some Legacy Vaders. Looks like they got quite a few. Got some puzzles. Let's see if they got anything good in here. Got some chirps. And there he goes. I got a director clinic. Looks like it. They got some of the new Wonder Woman wave. So they got a bunch of Steve Trevor's and a bunch of Wonder Woman's. Looks like they got some of the new Homecoming action figures. Like three and three quarter. You want to hear like this? Okay. I got a bunch of the Star Toys R Us exclusive Star Lords. I got some of the Legends. Toys R Us Readers. There's the neck section. So all they really have is the Superman Muhammad Ali. I already have the Aliens Genocide. They have some of the Ash vs. Evil Dead, and they have one, it looks like, of the Hicks and Hudson. I'm gonna pass on that for right now. Okay. 
so here's their main legend section. Check this one out. Toys R Us exclusive. Some of the titanium 40th. No flaw. Okay. The Power Rangers. They have the Toys R Us exclusive uh, out the five. Same multiverse figures. Just a ton of the armored Batmans, which I already have. Just looking, thank you. Their world of Nintendo, so it's down here now. So, I have a uh, phase on suit sandals, but I already have that one. I have a regular sandals, but I don't already have it. Blue Yoshi's. Just got him. Oh, I have a bomb. Pick that one up. Hey, buddy, you doing any 
hiding. Oh. And they have a donkey collar. Perfect. I am all done in Toys R Us. Um, they, they didn't really have a lot in there, unfortunately. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've been to this Toys R Us, so I'm not sure if they're just in a, a changing over process, or they just haven't received their new stock, or they're just waiting until stuff gets cleared from the shelf before they put new stuff on. I'm not sure. But um, didn't have anything in the way of Marvel Legends, didn't have anything in the way of um, Pops. They don't think they had anything new in the way of pops the newest pop that i saw was the toys R Us exclusive star lord but that's been out for a while um i did i did pick up a couple of small things though i got the world of nintendo um the bob bomb and i uh, got the world of nintendo donkey kong so um i've been collecting these world of nintendo figures for a while now i have the regular size, full size ones, and I have quite a few of these smaller ones that are two inches, three inches, I'm not sure what what size category they fall into, but um, I really dig them. I'm a big Nintendo fan, and I really like Nintendo, and I really like the figures they put out, and they have a, a crap ton of figures to put out, and I've actually been looking for Donkey Kong in particular in that size for a while now, so I'm glad that I... Uh, I'm glad that I found him. So um, right now I'm gonna go to the mall across the street. Sorry, I was just starting up my car. I'm gonna go to the mall across the street and then I am going to um, probably end my little hunt today with a uh, Best Buy and a um, Walgreens. So let's go on and get out of here. So I will catch you guys in the uh, the first store I go to in the mall, okay? Later. All right, what's up, guys? So I'm all done at the mall. So I know you guys can't tell because the video is going to be instantaneous, but um, I made the mistake. I thought that most of the stores opened up at 10, and they actually opened up at 11, so I was actually waiting around for quite a while. But um, I went into uh, GameStop. They did not have any of the exclusive vultures, unfortunately. It seems like that's going to become like probably like a not to the level of a chase pop but it's gonna become something of a rarity because they said it was only for pre-orders so if you pre-ordered them then you probably got them and they're not going to really be getting you know anymore they're probably closer to when the movie comes out and probably most certainly after the movie's already out they'll probably be getting more but um i wasn't able to get that but i did go into hot topic and um i did get some pops so um one of the first pops i got was I did there they always have the the three pops for 30 so I'm um, hoping you guys can see I'm in a parking structure and it's kind of dark but the first pop I got is the um, Chamberlain Skeksy from the Dark Crystal so I have most of the line of this I have Jen I have uh, Kira and Fizzig I have uh, Ursul the uh, Ursul the Chanter and now I have the uh, the Skeksy the only one left I need is um, Agra or whatever her name is but uh, yeah, I really like the Skeksis. I like this movie. It's really freaky and kind of weird for a kid's movie. So it's really cool to watch as an adult. So I got that one. This one I did not get for me. I got for uh, my girl. I got uh, Rick and Morty, Mr. Poopy Butthole. The Hot Topic exclusive. So um, like I said in previous videos, or maybe even in this one, I don't know. Uh, Rick and Morty is not really my bread and butter. I've never watched more than maybe a dozen episodes of it. I don't even know who this character is, but every time we've gone to a store and they've had this character, she points him out, so I got that for her. And then um, I asked about this pop, and they said they didn't have any. The girl was really nice enough to go in the back and look, and she found a bundle, I guess, that somebody was trying to buy or was going to buy, but they never came in. So I got the exclusive Homecoming 
Unmasked Spider-Man. So that was the one that I was really looking for, and the Vulture, obviously. So I got the Unmasked Spider-Man. So right now, the only ones I need left are the Homemade Suit, and the Peter Parker, and then obviously the Vulture, um, with the glow-in-the-dark pieces. So um, I went into that comic book store that's down at the bottom of the mall. A uh, really cool guy, we were just chatting about comics for 20 or 30 minutes. And um, I was looking through their comics, and um, I didn't really want to spend too much. They had a lot of comics that I would have gotten, but they were 15, 20, 30, 40 bucks. So, you know, maybe if I had just gotten paid or something, I would have copped a, uh, one of the uh, better ones. But um, I got this one, and he actually was having problems with his little machine to pay for it. So um, he actually gave me 20% off. So I got um, Batman Annual uh, number 14. So this is the one with the Two Face cover, and um, it just I just love this cover. I mean, I've seen this cover in other things, other people's collections and stuff like that, and I just freaking I love this cover. So it's in pretty good shape. The corners look decent, pages look good, the comic looks otherwise pretty good. So yeah, I got about a dollar, dollar and a half off of that. So I only paid like six or seven bucks. So. All right, so now I am going to be leaving the mall, and I'm going to be uh, going to Best Buy, and I'm going to go to uh, Walgreens, and that's going to be my day. It is already noon, so hopefully I can get done in the next hour, and then get home and relax before I got to go to work. So I will see you guys at Best Buy, all right? All right, so I'm all done at Target, and um, I stopped into a little uh, GameStop that was right by there, too, for good measure. Um, they didn't have anything. Um, oh, sorry, not Target, Best Buy. I don't know why I said that. Um, I stopped in at Best Buy. Um, they didn't have anything. Um, they had a couple of the 40th anniversary figures, but it was Princess Leia and, um, Farm Boy Luke, and I already have both of those. So, no R2s, no Obi-Wans, nothing like that. And the guy at GameStop is really nice, and he gave me a printout of all the stores that have, um, the Vulture Pop still in stock. Um, he doesn't know if, um, any of them are still pre-orders, so, um, I could go to the stores and they won't be able to sell it to me because it's actually a pre-order for another customer. So, um, no luck on that, but, um, I am going to stop in at this Walgreens right here, right behind me. As you can see the building right there, there we go, and, um, see if they have anything. Um, I still need that Legends Colossus to finish off my X-Men wave. That's the only one I need left. I have the Old Man Logan. Um, I have all that. I just need the Colossus, and this is the this is the Walgreens that um, a few videos back. If you want to watch, I think it's like Toy Hunt number three or something like that. That I found the Sunfire and the Polaris and the Cyclops and you know all of them there. I freaking scored here. So hopefully they still have some in stock. I don't know. It's it's Sunday. I don't know when they get their new shipments in when they stock their stuff. But I'm gonna go in and check, and uh, I'll show you guys what they got. All right. Later. On my phone. All right, so looks like they have get back in there. They have a Nova, whatever. Looks like all Cassian.
All right, I am all done at Walgreens. Um, I took some footage in there, but um, they didn't really have anything. Um, they had a Kid Nova from the Guardians of the Galaxy wave. Um, nothing else really in the way of anything that I was interested in. Nothing was discounted. I've been seeing people go into Walgreens and finding all, ki all kinds of discounts. So I'm guessing that's probably a store to store thing. Not really uh, across the board. That's just them trying to clear out their uh, their stock by marking discounts on it. So I am all done with my haul. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to combine all these videos and then I'm going to probably upload it right now. Um, I hope you guys like the video. Um, I know I kind of struck out a lot of places, but that's okay. That's what hunting's all about. You just keep doing it, you know. If you can't find it today, maybe tomorrow or maybe next week or whenever. You never know what you're going to find. Like today with the Spider-Man pop, I thought I wasn't going to find it. And uh, they had it. They had it with a little bundle. I guess somebody must have ordered them or something and never came and picked them up. And they they canceled their order or something, so I was able to pick it up. So thank you for whoever that person was. So um, I'm going to definitely take pictures of everything and put them on my Instagram. I know I've been lagging on my Instagram a little bit. But I've just been so busy and so much stuff's been going on the last few weeks. I haven't really had time to just sit down and uh, get stuff done on my Instagram. But I'll definitely do that for you guys. Show you everything that I got. And um, yeah, if you if you uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, slowly but surely I'm building up subscribers. So thank you to all the people that subscribe to my channel and watch these videos. You guys make me keep going. Keep wanting to do this. Um, like the video um i'll put a link link a link to in in the description for my instagram so you can hop over there and check out my pictures and everything like that and uh little descriptions of everything that i buy and uh go ahead and follow me on that one too you know that's that's all i put on there it's not one of those you know normal instagrams where i'm showing you all my day-to-day -day stuff you know i'm just putting all my collectibles it's strictly a collectible instagram so uh yeah I will see you guys in the next video, and as always, I'm Maniac the Geek. Uh, keep hunting, good luck, good hunting. Keep looking for all those collectibles, man. I want to see everything all you guys got. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.